Okay. Hey neighbors, Griff Hanning with Home Fix, and I'm with an awesome good friend of mine, Gidget Webster with Design Sense, who we actually share a showroom with and uh, in an office yeah. space, so you can say hi to them if you want. Hi, neighbors. <laughs> so I couldn't wait to pick her brain on some design ideas. I am not great at design, even though I've been doing contracting for a long time. She is an expert, and uh, we work together on lots of projects that are beautiful because they are of beautiful. what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first question, and the question that I have been curious about for a long time as well, is is there such thing as timeless design? Is there such yeah. a thing as timeless design? So I'm not sure there design? is any one right answer to timeless design. Okay. I think that there can be timeless ideas, maybe open space or the flow of traffic, mm -hmm. uh, lighting. Um, and that's natural lighting, not necessarily lighting fixtures because they come and go, styles mm -hmm. come and go. Same with materials. Mm. So when we do a kitchen design, I just tell people to get what they love on the backsplash. Yeah. You know, just get something you love. You've got about 10 years on that before you're probably not gonna love it anymore. But 10 you years know? is kind of a cycle that you see. I Every decade, think. things are gonna change and trends are gonna be I think so. Different. I mean, I think when you go with maybe natural materials you have maybe a little longer mm -hmm. um, stone mm -hmm. hardwood things like that um, but again past that 10-year mark you yeah. know things go from light to dark or you sell it and somebody else has a totally I different idea yeah. about what timeless is to so them. What, what color do you think or colors family of colors like if I'm picking out tile would mm -hmm. I want to go with more of the brown tones or are the grays gonna last so, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do think when, we do have a lot of people that come in and are remodeling because they need to sell it or they are gonna sell it in three to five years. So uh, I guide them to go, you know what, let's go to the more neutrals. Let's not go overly cool gray, not go overly warm browns beiges let's go somewhere in between so yeah. we can kind of get the biggest crowd gotcha. um, that's going to like that okay but they change you know yeah. uh, right now grays are very popular mm -hmm. uh, who knows in five years you know green might be the hottest neutral I, I don't that, know that's a good question so talk to me about kind of the different decades you've seen what has been cool in the past and wasn't cool and then became cool again or is becoming right. cool again? Well, I'm so young, I've barely gone through any decades. <laughs> but you've studied this stuff, you know this stuff. Right. So if you go way back to mid-century modern in the 50s, you know, that's very popular again. In fact, it's probably going out a little bit again, but um, the oranges and the avocados, mm. um, that went way out. Yeah. And then it came back in with a vengeance, but in a different way. It wasn't exactly... In a more accents here and there, Well, right? you know, just a more modern mid-century, yeah. not necessarily 50s style. Yeah. Um, that can look a little kitschy. Yeah. Uh, so it comes back in a different way. Yeah. Uh, the, do you remember the four by four tiles that everybody did? I mean, four by fours or six by sixes, mm -hmm. just the porcelain tiles. Those 90s. were everywhere, right? I mean, yeah. brass. Carpet and bathroom, is that cool? Brass. Because now gold, remember? I told but you this like gold. years ago. It's like I know. champagne. It's champagne gold. Something. Okay. Champagne yeah. gold. Yeah, so it comes back in a different way. Okay. Um, so get what you like. You've got about 10 years on it. Yeah. You know, but if you're deciding whether to make a big change, like adding windows, mm -hmm. that could be timeless. That could really be worth your money. Gotcha. That natural light. Awesome. What, what's the most popular thing right now? I mean, we've kind of gone through this farmhouse stage, right? Are we through that yet? Or is that still pretty awesome? A lot of people still like it. Mm -hmm. It is a trend, I believe. I think it'll be one of those styles that maybe we call mid-century now. It'll be, you know, modern farmhouse style. Um, it's going out a little bit and becoming even a little more uh, subdued. Mm. You know, just little touches of it okay. here and there, not all over farmhouse. So what is the most popular trend right now? Well, being in Colorado, we still have um, Mountain Modern. 
Um, I don't know that that's a trend anywhere else, but sure. Mountain Modern, I get a lot of people that want that. And Modern Farmhouse is still okay. popular. Um, in both of those, I think it's important to really just make it a little more collected, not yeah. as just so defined. Yeah. Because somebody might come in and go, yeah, I don't really like that idea. Yeah, gotcha. So what are things that I can do at my house if I didn't have the money to spend on your services? Mm -hmm. What are things I can just do on my own to get more organized and just to feel, just give life back to my house? Okay, so don't spend money. So don't go to Target and buy baskets to organize. Okay. Because <laughs> if you go there, you will addicting. buy your, that's yeah. addicting. You could spend a lot of money go doing to the that. the Magnolia section. And oh yeah. Snatching it all up. I mean, really, there's cute stuff there. Yeah. So don't do that. <laughs> Go, I I'm would say cute. anybody, I cute, right, so, right, yeah. right. So don't go to Target, number one. Go through your house and shop. Go through yeah. your house and shop for those things. If you do need organizing, pare some things down because that's mm -hmm. usually always an issue. People really do have too much stuff. So, Get rid of stuff. so as an example, do you, I mean, are you trying to organize for kiddos or closets, kitchens? Great question. Um, um, I would say yes to simplify life, right? We've got so much clutter. Okay, I know. Mm -hmm. You, sh I think really when you're going to an organizing mindset, if you're feeling like your house is in chaos, I would say zoning your areas. Mm. In a kitchen, when we're designing it, I would say, you know, you zone your baking area and then the items that you're gonna bake around are in that area. Mm -hmm. The cooking items, they're gonna be in that area. Uh, if kids room, you know, you, you zone an area for crafts, you mm -hmm. zone an area for, I don't know, cars, whatever they're playing with. Mm -hmm. uh, zoning an area for quiet reading. Mm -hmm. So zoning those areas or what you're going to do in that area and then kind of moderating those areas and the things that you have in them. Gotcha. Okay. Are there good resources that you would point me towards? Websites, that type of thing that would help me get some ideas? House.com. House. Love okay. it. I love house.com okay. um, and Pinterest. Okay. Um, those are huge rabbit holes and you'll be up at 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. Totally wanted to go buy boxes at Target. Perfect. So don't do it. Okay. But we'll look get on my Pinterest. Wife on that. She'll handle that, <laughs> and then I can do yeah. whatever she does. Yeah. So yeah. I love Pinterest and House. Those are the two that I'm addicted to. Awesome. Any other advice for those of us who don't understand home design? Well, hire <laughs> a designer, want. obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, what does your process look like when you come out to a house? And then what? Well, it depends on what you want. That's the okay. then what. But we start with a consult. Okay. What are your needs? Yeah. What's working? What's not working? If it's kitchen, bathroom, basement, you know, how many people are going to be in that room? How do you want to use that room? Uh, who is going to be in that room? Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of guests in that room? Mm -hmm. Do you have just family? So defining kind of how that space is used, who's going to be in it, how often they're going to be in it, when they're going to be in it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the first start. Yeah. And then going over what we can do with what they have mm -hmm. and what needs to be adjusted. Do you want someone before they call you to be on house and on Pinterest and yep. get all their ideas? Yep. I always give them homework. Okay. Yep. Give them homework, create awesome. an idea book on house. The most important thing yeah. to create an idea book is to put a comment on it. Mm. Because you're going to save that photo to an idea what do you book. Like about yes, that picture, right? exactly. What That's do you like, like about yeah. that picture? Is it the light? Is it the couch? Yeah. Is together. it the floor? Yes. Yeah. Then you know because if you get like 500 pictures on house, you're going to go. I don't remember why I saved that picture. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks. That was helpful. <laughs> thanks, Griff. That was helpful for me. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. So appreciate it. Oh my god. Okay, then I kept You're smashing natural. this. No, I'm not. That's awful. <laughs>
but like you're <laughs> emphasizing the point, you know, like. <laughs>